Well, <clears throat> good morning, good morning, fellow diamond painters. DP Crazy Lady here. It is uh, 7.40 a.m. I thought I'd do one a little early since I'm, I'm going to have a busy day. 7.40 a.m. It is the 5th of April, uh, 2024. And this is all I've gotten done so far on this uh, <clears throat> first section of the house uh, I'm right about I'm right about there in this area yeah right here there you probably can't see it but that's like a, a stone uh, post with a light on top and I'm heading for the windows and such uh, and part of the roof so it'll be in this little area right there if this doesn't blur out on you so it is the Sierra River Fall 44 colors uh, there are four ABs <clears throat> it is a Chuck Pinson uh, it is uh, diamond shape is a square it's 28 inch by 22 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter and i started it on march 28th so moving right along but i think i'm a little slow which is fine it's no biggie i think um uh, i will be doing the uh the one cat uh, along with the uh, uh, gnome the welcome gnome but I'll do the welcome gnome the last two weeks of uh, this month because I want to get that cat done that is from GBFKE and I want to I showed it and then I want to finish it so and uh, supposedly I think by Monday, Monday or Tuesday, the uh, cross-stitch stuff should be showing up. It's in the U.S. somewhere. I don't know where. But it's there somewhere. Uh, let's see. I'll get my colors out. Uh, let's set this up. I always have everything like sitting right next to me. I really love that other table. I haven't got to use it yet as far as, you know, diamond painting on it. But when I do the cat and the gnome and such, then I will. Um, I'm debating on what to start after uh, this is done. Uh, if I, because I'll have to do the cross stitch, of course. So, uh, and since the cross stitch is not... Uh, the first one is not real large. I can get it done right away. And um, I'm debating on whether to do the craftably or start on the um, make market. I'm I'm not sure. I don't want to do both those at the same time. Uh, because if I do the craftably, I want to enjoy the craftably all on its own. So... Okay, I need color 21. I can't even find colors anymore, I'm telling you. Uh, I woke up this morning at about 5 a.m. Have my coffee, which this is a whip and sip then. So I do have my coffee. Uh, since it's in the this container, it stays hot for quite a while. Uh, but I woke up to snow. Yep. It's not, it, it's kind of a wet, yucky snow. So I don't think it's going to stay. But it's about 35 degrees out. So I suspect uh, it's going to be one of those miserable days. And I hate grocery shopping. On these kind of days and my winter coat is uh, 
not available to me. I set it for laundry to wash it. I haven't done it yet. I plan on doing laundry. I was going to do it this weekend. And uh, uh, there's no way I can do laundry this weekend. I'll have to do it started on Monday. And then the old, uh, you know, weekly uh, thingies when I was a kid. Mondays were wash days. Tuesday were ironing days. Wednesday was, you know, those. It's that saying they have, and I can't remember it all. But uh, I would have done it this weekend. But as I had stated yesterday, uh, we were helping out a neighbor. Um, her electricity got turned off. Um, yesterday, mid-morning, mid-afternoon, she wasn't home, and, uh, they had most of the money to pay the electric bill. Her husband works and everything, but she had a death in the family, and what money they did have, uh, she used to, uh, attend the funeral. Um in another state and uh, they plan on moving anyway but uh, they were hoping this would hold off they said at least till Monday because she has you know more than half the money and the rest of it she'll have on Monday well her electricity got shut off and she's not concerned about having heat in the house or anything else but her refrigerator she doesn't want to lose her groceries and i totally sympathize with her absolutely positively and she said and she was crying and she was upset she has uh three three kids three children uh, i think she has two daughters and a, and a son and uh, she was upset because she didn't want to lose her food they had just done grocery shopping last week and, you know, filled up her refrigerator and freezer. And uh, she said she hated to ask, but she would pay me if I did it. And she wanted to know if she could just run. And she's right next door. I mean, it, you know, mobile homes are not that real far apart. If she could run an extension cord, an industrial cord, which I had. Um... Uh, from her refrigerator to my outside plugs because I have outside plugs and uh, I told her sure she could don't you don't have to pay me I said it's not going to cost that much you know and until it gets turned back on on Monday I said please you know don't you don't have to pay anything just you know do what you have to do and uh so I, you know, she ran it through her window and to my uh, outside plug. And uh, I think it was about, I don't know, half hour later or something like that. So I said, Mom, there's a card on the door. So she brought it in and it was a beautiful card, you know, thanking us for helping and stuff. And she put $40 in it. I sent my daughter over next door and told her to take it back. And she argued with it, my daughter. She argued with me. She wouldn't take it. Uh, I, when you try to do uh, the right thing for for your neighbor, or you know, you want to, you don't want to be paid for your favor, you know, or your kindness, or whatever you want to call it. You know, you just do it. And uh, I told you, it kind of makes me feel bad. You know, I feel like you're you know, paying my friendship or something, or paying, and she says, no, she said, if this is the least I can do, you've helped us out, you know, with uh, groceries on occasion, when I have extras, and plus, when I got rid of, you know, all the stuff I can't eat, you know, and uh, I give her, you know, canned stuff that I know we can't eat, stuff that my mom was bringing over, you know, that we can't use, I'd, you know, give it to them because my mom would go to that place uh, once a month <clears throat> and uh, get different produce, different grocery stuff. And what my mom couldn't use, she'd give to me, but then I couldn't use it because of my diet. 
So I'd hand it to her, you know, next door. But I told her, I said, I don't like being paid when I'm, you know, I'm helping you out. You don't, helping means helping, not paying for it, you know. I'm, but she wouldn't take no for an answer, so uh, she just, or she just kept saying, you know, she wouldn't take it back, so. I don't know, but I, you know, but like I said, you know, you do, you know, you should pay it forward, help out your neighbors, whatever, you know, it's just what you do. Um, like, and today, like I said, is grocery shopping. Uh, my mom had said that, uh, you know, depending on the weather, you know, I said, if it gets real bad or something like that, I said, Mom, I said, unless there's, you know, six feet of snow out there, I got to go to the grocery store, and uh, she's, oh, no, she said, you know, I, I was just hoping she said it wasn't, like, blustery and, you know, thunderstorms and stuff like that, you know, she said, but otherwise, she'd make sure that she was, she's going to meet us up at Aldi's and which for me is uh but depending on traffic I could get there in like five minutes five or ten minutes if there's traffic traffic it'll take me 15 so I told her I'd meet her up there at Aldi's and then what I'm going to do is uh, I was planning anyway to take my mom after the grocery, after that grocery shopping, because we hit Aldi's first, then normally from there, <clears throat> if there's something she needs specifically that Aldi's doesn't have, then we go over to Mark's, which is just probably about five minutes away from Aldi's, and uh, we would go there. Well, there's nothing she really needs at Mark's that we can't get up at Walmart, because we'll do Walmart after. Uh, but I told her, I said, I'm going to, uh, I said, as soon as we finish Aldi's, we're going to run down there to the Chinese restaurant, and I'm going to let her get a takeout. You know, she can get the takeout uh, container and just put in whatever she wants. Because I told her, I said, that's going to be part of your birthday present. Because my mom loves Chinese, and she hasn't had it for at least a couple of years either because she used to come out every once in a while and I'd get her a gift card uh, thing for the Chinese uh, restaurant. Well, the one that I used to get it for closed down. So we haven't been doing that. And since I've been on this, you know, diet change for two years, I haven't had any. So there was no reason for us to go because she said, oh, geez, you know, if you go, you can't eat this, can't eat that, you know. So I said, okay, no problem. So I'm going to take her down there. I'm not getting any Chinese. I'm going to wait till next month. Uh, you know, I want to keep checking my glucose and make sure my, you know, everything is like it should be. So anyhow, I'm going to take her down there and let her get a takeout. And then from there, we'll head out to uh, Walmart and uh, there's, there's not a whole lot she says she needs there, but I need to get a bunch of spices that I'm out of. Uh, I get my uh, 60, 60 eggs in a big box. Um, I need to get a lot of that Palmini uh, pasta stuff. I want to get a lot more of that because I'm making, I'm going to make some major adjustments in my uh, diet. I'm, uh, from now on in the evening, you know, I, I always like to eat uh, like the mini bags of popcorn that you make in the microwave. Well, I'm going to get some of that too. But that's a lot of um, salt 
lot of sodium, you know, that I don't feel I should have. And uh, <clears throat> I want to get uh, more celery. Uh, I will, instead of buying the pre-made salads, I'm going to buy a lot more romaine. Instead of the one packet of three, I'm going to get two packets. I'm buying at least, you know, three or four containers of the little cherry tomatoes that I like. I'm going to make sure that I get uh, some apples. Uh, I'm going to be making a bunch of salads that we're going to eat practically every lunch. I love salads. I could eat them every day. doesn't bother me. I'm going to make sure that I have tons of cottage cheese because I'm tired of running out of my cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese and I'm tired of running out of it. So I'm going to get at least four containers of that. I'll probably go through that in probably two weeks. Yes, that's a lot of cottage cheese, but I do like cottage cheese. Um, so I'll have that, uh, you know, getting that and... Uh, like I said, I got, I got to get my spices that I'm out of. Um, what else do I need to get up there? Uh, I don't buy much produce. I, well, I really haven't ever bought any produce at Walmart. I always get my produce at Aldi's. So, I'll just, you know, I got to get uh, my carrots and peppers and broccoli and cauliflower um, I don't really need much meat I have I well I'm going to have to get some more salmon because I only have one piece of that left but I have hot dogs because you know I can eat hot dog I can have one hot dog you know one or maybe two depending on its ingredients and uh I have those wraps so I can, you know, instead of putting it on a bun, I can just, you know, put all the ingredients in it, put it in a wrap and eat it like that. Like what they used to call a pig in a blanket, you know, that way. So, um, and we have a save a lot that's down the street too in, in the same general area. It's closing down. I haven't went to that save a lot in about a year and a half and apparently and any any time I had been in it there were hardly anybody in there there were hardly any people in there no matter what time of day it was I went and uh, so they're closing on the 27th of this month and I think part of it too is that Myers opened up I think was it the beginning of this year or the before Christmas last year or something? I don't know, uh, but I have to go to Myers after uh, I run mom to uh, my mom to uh, Walmart, and from there she'll go straight home because it's closer. Where that Walmart is, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump back to her house. So she'll go home from there. Then I'm on my way home. I'm going to swing by Myers. Uh, they have gas fairly cheap and uh, they also have the kohlrabi that I buy because Giant Eagle used to sell it and I know that it's it's seasonal and it usually comes out in March April somewhere around there and but even last year in March April May I kept trying to find kohlrabi at uh, Giant Eagle and it's a fancier giant eagle, you know, in a, in a little fancier neighborhood. You'd think they'd carry, you know, the odd, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, gourmet type stuff that, because they do have an aisle there that has all kinds of fancy stuff that I don't see at the other giant eagle I go to. So, um, <clears throat> but I can never find it there. And apparently Myers carries it uh, quite a bit. So I want to get a bunch of that because I am not buying any potatoes. 
this month at all. No potatoes. I am not going to, if I don't have them in the house, I don't eat them. So those are not coming in the house this month. Uh, I'm getting the kohlrabi because it is great to do a, like I said before, I slice it fairly thin, medium, thin to medium, and you make them just like scallop potatoes, so, or cheesy potatoes, so they are really good, I really like them, uh, it's, like I said, mixed between a turnip and a radish, it's a German, German turnip, I think is what it's, Called, but they taste so good you don't notice that it's you know like a cabbage or radish type taste so anyway so I'll be making that this you know for those this month and I get as many as I you know I think they're charging like three dollars for a bunch and sometimes there's four in a bunch and they're pretty good size each one uh, because Giant Eagle, they were selling them like five or six dollars a pound. Where at Myers, they're just selling them three bucks a bunch. You know, it doesn't matter if they're big ones, little ones, whatever. So, and I don't, I, I've never shopped at Myers. I went there uh, once uh, last year when they, yeah, because they did open last year when they had the kohlrabi because they were the only ones I could find it at. And that was the first and only time I'd ever shopped there. The place is huge. It's where the old, our old Kmart used to be and they tore down all of that there, including the garden center, everything. And the whole area there is nothing but Myers. I mean, it's huge. And they have their own gas station there. And their gas station, for me, since I have to buy premium, theirs always seems to be at least 10 or 15 cents cheaper than other gas stations per gallon. So I get it there when I can get over there. Uh, so I'll probably get the gas there uh, today sometime. I may run down there before uh, I'm supposed to meet mom, my mom because uh, I'll need gas by the time we're done uh, heading to Walmart and I don't want to get gas out in that end. It's too expensive up in that area. So you know, different gas stations, different prices. And I have no clue what I'm going to make for supper today because after all the running and everything, I don't know what I'm uh, probably, I think what I'm going to do, like I usually do after grocery shopping, we usually have like maybe a small bowl of soup and a salad. That's usually what I do. Or sometimes we have a sandwich. Now, since I have the wraps, I can make a sandwich. I don't like buying too much processed food. You know, I try to stay away from as much of it prepackaged and processed. Because even if you're not a diabetic or on a special diet, staying away from processed stuff is a good option if you can do it. Because, you know, all that crap in them and it just adds more garbage to your system. And I'm not preaching... Uh, you know, good diet health or anything because <clears throat> I'm the worst person to ask to do diets, you know, or to stay healthy because that's what led me to where I am now. So, <laughs> you know, but uh, I will talk about it now, you know, as far as what I am doing now. So, how long have I been on here? Oh, not too long, I guess. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I just hate this weather. I wish it would make up its mind. I'm not... 
I'm not looking for, I'm, I'm kind of worried if we hardly had any winter, and I mean, we had uh, those three or four days where it was so cold that my pipes froze. And I was just kept praying the whole three or four days. Yes, the pipes are frozen, but please do not burst. You know, I can do without the water for three or four days. The neighbor had given me a bunch of jugs of water. So, you know, for coffee and things like that. Um, so that was good. But, um, you know, what I'm worried about is we had such a mild, mild winter that I'm wondering what our summer is going to look like. You know, that, that, that's what's uh, worrying me. Are we? It's going to turn out one or two ways. It's either going to be a crappy, nasty, uh, maybe cold and unenjoyable summer, or it is going to be so hot that you're not going to be able to stand yourself. So... And I feel so bad for some of the people in this park. They don't have air conditioning. I'm lucky enough to have been able to put in air conditioning into my furnace. So it acts like a whole house or whatever, you know. And uh, doesn't run me too much. And plus I have numerous trees on my corner and near my deck that shades enough, you know, that things don't get real, real hot. Where I see some of these other mobile homes, they're parked, uh, you know, no trees. None. And, you know, the sun just beats down. And some of them don't have even a, a window air conditioner. And I'm thinking, oh my God, they've got to be so hot. And I feel bad, you know, that they're roasting like that. But, I don't know, some people get used to it and it doesn't bother them. Boy, when it hits 80s and 90s, it's, you know, you're in a tin can. So, I don't know, let's see, I think I'm done with that color. Nope, got some down here. Okay, um, I'm not going to stand here much longer. I don't think there's much anything else going on. The pup's in the heat. Well, like I said, that's why I got up as early as I did. He woke me up. And uh, he's already had his breakfast. He's been out and had his breakfast. I had a piece of toast. That's all I really felt like e eating. I'll oh, get a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so I had uh, a piece of toast and I had my coffee. And now he was laying with my daughter for a little bit. And then he came back in here and I told him, I said, well, you can either lay up here with me or you can go to puppy bed. And he went off to puppy bed and he went to his cage. So, and uh, last. <laughs> You know, I'm glad you guys think he's cute. He is cute. He's cute. But I'll tell you what. He's a little demon. He's a little, little demon. And yesterday... <laughs> I've mentioned it to you guys before. I know I have. If he passes gas, he'll be laying there. And you won't hear it. You know, but apparently his butt feels it. Because we always know when it happens. Like I said, we can't hear it, so we wouldn't know that way if he was just an ordinary dog. <laughs> but he'll be laying there, and apparently his butt will pass gas, and all you see is him dive off the couch, run, and then you don't see him for another 15, 20 minutes. Because he'll run... And get in his puppy cage and hide like he thinks something attacked his butt. He does it. He, he's been doing that since he was little. I mean, well, he is little. But since he was a puppy puppy. And he's going to be two years old pretty soon. So, 
it's it is the funniest thing I've ever seen a dog do. I mean, I've seen some, you know, they'll go to, you know, they're passing gas them and they'll look back like, what is that? Him, he doesn't even want an explanation. All he knows is something attacked his butt and he's trying to run away from it. And, hold on. Oh, dry throat. <clears throat> and, uh, he thinks he's Mr. Big and Brave and, you know, he's going to protect and, uh, you know, he's going to notify you if somebody's showing up, somebody's coming. And that little Dickens will bark, 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 and he'll growl and, and carry on and everything. <laughs> as soon as that person takes a step uh, to come in the house or wherever, he runs. He runs, hides. And he's scared to death. He is scared to death. I've never seen a dog act like... He, he, he just thinks he's so big and bad until he's confronted. And then he... Uh, whoops, I'm putting this on the wrong color. Uh, then he acts like, you know, oh, crap. Now I got to back up my bark and I can't. <laughs> I, I just never... I've never seen a dog do that. If they're going to bark, I figure they're going to bark and try to, you know, terrify the, you know, the intruder or, you know, intimidate them. And apparently he thinks that's what's happening until they, you know, call his bluff. And then he's just Mr. Coward and runs to hide. So he'll probably be the type, if somebody were to break in here, he'd, you know, help him carry the stuff out the door so well I guess I'm gonna get uh, in gear here and uh, see it's uh, after 8 I figure about 9 30 10 o'clock I'll run down and uh, fill the tank up on my car and uh, that way I haven't been able, I haven't filled it up uh, in the last no, two or three months because gas prices have just been so outrageous. So I've been just throwing in like, you know, five dollars here, five dollars there, uh, hoping the prices will come down and I can fill it up. But I don't drive it enough sometimes to warrant that. But this month. We're taking my mother grocery shopping and then, um, excuse me, her um, birthday coming up. She doesn't know it. You know, like I said, she doesn't watch my YouTube channel. But anyhow, um, her birthday coming up, family's going to be showing up to surprise her. And I want to make sure I have enough gas to get there and back and... You know, in case uh, anybody needs a ride somewhere, something. Or, you know, we have to run here or there. And if they're going to do it more than one day's worth, then I have to come home and go back again. So, I want to make sure there's plenty of gas in my car. And uh, I don't think there's any... There's no doctor's appointments this month that I know of. So, we're doing good on that front. So... Well, I'm going to get my butt off of here and uh, see how much I can do on this until it's done. <clears throat> and uh, I might be back on here tomorrow or Sunday. I'll, I'll let you all know, believe me, you know, when you see me you see me or well you don't see me but when you hear me you hear me <laughs> so yeah uh hope y'all have a good weekend hopefully once again the weather is better at your end than it is on mine and uh you know smile at someone hug someone you know uh if you got a neighbor who is in need and you can help in some way, 
do it. I mean, you know, make you feel good. So it'll make them feel good too. So have a good day. I will get back with you uh, in the next day or two. Uh, love you all. Um, you know, hugs. DP Crazy Lady. I'm out.